Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Abdullah Shams. If you're new, thank you so much for watching and clicking on this video. Today I'm going to talk about how to become interested in reading books. Lots of people ask me that how to become a reader if you hate reading and how I read so many books in such a short amount of time. So I decided to share with you guys these 7 tips that can help you create a habit and read every single day. So my first tip for you guys is change your attitude. This tip may seem not very practical or hands on but it's probably the most important one. Lots of people believe that reading is a worthless task. In this case, they won't be interested in books anyway, as long as they don't make reading important in their minds. So the effective way to make reading important to your mind is thinking about the results and the benefits that you can achieve from reading a good book. In this way, the value of reading will increase in your mind day by day and of course you'll be interested in reading books. In my last video, I talked about the 10 impressive benefits of reading that you can watch that video to make reading important to your mind. Number two, if you want to start reading, don't overachieve. From today, I will definitely read a book a week. It's easy to say that yeah, I'm going to finish a book a week from now on, but your past is telling that you're not going to. So in order to break into the habit of reading, you need to set your standards very low. I'm talking about one page a day. Start reading from one page and you can increase the amount of pages by passing every day. If you could read about 20 pages in a day, you will read two books in a month. In a year, you will finish about 24 books and I think that's a very big achievement for a person. Tip number three is read the books that you love. A book that might be popular might not be something that I am personally interested in. You have to find out what works best for you and what you genuinely love to read. For example, if you're interested in comic books and romance novels or in fantasy novels or self-help books, just read that. You can't just sit there and read something that you don't like because your mind will get bored and you'll mindlessly daydreaming and not really enjoying reading the book. It's supposed to be fun and if it's not, you're not reading the right book. Before I actually buy the book, I look the back of the book, see the table of contents, kind of see what am I getting myself into before I actually read the book. Sometimes people don't like to quit. They start reading something that they don't really like and it will take them months to finish the book. It's okay that you not finish reading a book that you don't like instead of saying that I don't want to quit. Why just you don't quit reading the book that you don't like and pick up a book that you really enjoy reading it. Ask yourself what is your interest? Do you like romance books? Do you like mystery? Mysteries, do you like psychology, creepy scary books, murder mysteries? Find your style books and focus on that. Okay, tip number four, bench your habits. Habit benching is when you pair in an already existing habit that you enjoy doing it with a habit that you're trying to work on. If it's a habit for you to drink a nice hot cup of coffee in the morning, so pair it with the habit of reading. An easy way to do this is put your book that you want to read next to the coffee maker in the morning and when you wake up and make yourself a hot cup of coffee, you will see the book and you will grab it and go. By benching an already existing habit with one that you want to try work on, not only will it be easier to work on that new habit, but the enjoying of the first habit will affect to the second one. Number five, a creative way that you can get your reading done is to listening to audiobooks. There are some on YouTube, there is like audiobook apps. You can listen to them while you're still being able to do multitask. And so you're knocking like two birds with one stone. Do people who say that I don't have time to read or reading makes me tired, they can use audiobooks. With listening to audiobooks, you can clean, you can cook, you can drive, you can work out, but at the same time you're incorporating your reading and you're just listening to it rather than actually physically reading the book, which is a good option if you're really short on time. One of my favorite things to do is listening to audiobooks when I'm working out or when I'm walking. And if you enjoy working out like I do, so this counts as a habit benching. 
The other tip that I have for you is to create an environment and a space that you can read with no distractions. You don't want to do what's best for other people. You want to do what's best for you. It may look fancy and cute to read in a coffee shop, but if you get distracted easily by noises and people talking, coffee shops might not be a best option for you. You can read on your bed, in a coffee shop, at the school, underneath the tree, in the park. I personally love to read in my room. You want to eliminate all those distractions and feel comfortable while you're reading and you can get everything you need from the book. So the last tip for you guys that I have is to read before going on the internet. Excessive use of the internet and watching TV has reduced the culture of reading. Point is to read books before your brain is up by the internet. A great way to do this obviously is to read first thing in the morning. Also you should limit your TV and internet usage. People say I don't have time to do this, I don't have time to do that and they make up excuses for themselves. They just sit there and watch a lot of TV and they check their social media so many different times throughout the day. If you limit to a certain amount of time to spend on the internet or watching TV, it will create space for you to incorporate your daily reading into your routine. Social media takes up a lot of time of your day, but when you replace that by reading, you'll be surprised at how much time you have to actually read. So there you go. Hopefully you find these tips as useful as I currently do. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you like videos like these in general, hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment because I love seeing your comments and I will respond to all of them. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in my next video.